Weapon attacks parted over. Monster attacks parted over. Literally, a monster parted over. Followers, AI, NPC hunters with you on a hunt. Huh. A lot more, too. Guys! Well, well, if it isn't our old friend... Okay, look, that's probably a bit of an extreme implication. However... It's not entirely wrong, is it? And with the recent reveal of Flaming Espinas, which is, let's be honest, a localized and upgraded version of Espinas subspecies, or Brown Espinas, or Orange Espinas, he had many names because his official name was Espinas subspecies in Frontier, it is hard not to see the comparisons more and more across both title updates too. You see, you can get a lot of Frontier without literally pausing something. Monster Hunter is a big and varied series, and you can certainly pull from all of the games, both mainline and spin-off, and create holes that are greater than the sum of its parts, and that's really awesome to see. But even stuff like Strong Arm Stance being very similar to the Great Sword County in Frontier on a weapon level, things like in Title Update 1, Lucent Naga Cougar in his new modern 5th gen Sunbreak form literally getting blinking Naga Cougar from frontier attacks, especially with his Ring of Poison Death. And that's not a bad thing at all, none of this is. It's really awesome to see, because there is good everywhere. I don't think there's really a single Monster Hunter game that doesn't have at least a few standouts that are worth saving and salvaging, or I should say, Monster Hunter spin-off game. And that is really heartening to see just how much frontier is bleeding into Sunbreak, especially with my newfound love, understanding, and respect for it after having played it through. Don't get me wrong, there will always be moments, bits, monsters that are utterly cuckoo insane bananas and I hope for all of our sakes we never see. Not ready to relive that trauma in mainline, what the fuck is Erisarion? But there is also a lot of worthy little uh, things to take, upgrades and ideas and concepts and bring to the mainline. So obviously getting literally Espinas, the Frontier flagship, and now almost straight away getting brown, orange, now flaming Espinas, his subspecies, that's really neat. The question then becomes, well, are we going to get white Espinas? Are we going to get the rare species, maybe in the next one, or the one after that? Just get the full Espinas trio? Why the hell not? Or indeed another frontier monster altogether? That's entirely possible as well, and that kind of leaves me very, very excited. It's just hard not to have this kind of, huh? There really is undeniably a frontier lifeblood flowing through Sunbreak, mixing with that pure Monster Hunter goodness, and it really is creating something very special, because I'll be honest, we've now had a bit of a teaser of Title Update 2, we've seen Title Update 1, we've seen the base game, Sunbreak is, I mean, how do I put this? It's good. It's good. Like, it is Definitely, currently, as it stands, my third favorite Monster Hunter G Rank Master Rank game. After For You and after I Spawn. How that will change when we're finished, when all the title updates are done, when the end of the cycle is up for debate. But the mechanics, the gameplay, the weapons, for the most part, the monsters, certainly, the setting, the theme, the aesthetic, the influx from outside sources and other Monster Hunter games. I mean, it really is coming together to produce something beautiful. And it's not just Frontier, is it? Or at least it might not be. Obviously, we've now got a little bit more of the silhouette of what is, let's be honest, Mizutsune. It's not exactly that subtle. And again, we know it's going to be a rare species. And the thing is, there isn't a rare species Mizutsune. There's Mizutsune, there is Apex Mizutsune, which is basically just Deviant Solsia Mizutsune, and then we're kind of done. We have to look to spin-offs to get more Mizutsunes. So what's more likely here? This is a completely original new rare species Mizutsune creation, or we kind of look a bit far afield and borrow something like Thunderbubble Mizutsune from Monster Hunter Explore. 
which is a special species, and we know special species is just a mistranslation on the roadmap. It uh, isn't something that we're going to literally get, but it would be interesting to see where this is going. I would certainly say that we're not going to get a fire Mizutsune, both because that's what Solseer and Apex added, and with uh, both gold, silver, seething, and now flaming Espinas under the fire monster would probably be a little bit... Uh, Ah, uh, yay, I suppose. And I imagine we're not just going to get extra Mizutsune, because again, Solseer is very extra Mizutsune with enhanced bubbles. So I will be very shocked if this Mizutsune is not focused around either Ice, Dragon, or Thunder. Ice seems a bit unlikely. We have solid ice monsters, and it's just like the next step from water, though there is some potential with frozen bubbles. Dragon is quite extreme. Very few monsters get dragon. That makes the monster quite quite powerful and is reserved for quite special cases, which again, by process of elimination, does leave us in that Thunder realm and then again points the finger at Thunder Bubble Mizutsune. But also, I might be getting ahead of myself here, Basically, I just kind of wanted to mull it over and get it off my chest that, wow, more and more, Sunbreak really is proving to be the result of mixing just the highlights, just the little off the top of spin-offs of Frontier with that core Monster Hunter design, but also with that, well, spin-off flair to let us do ridiculous stuff like wire bug movement and switch skill swapping and the more crazy attacks and high action gameplay, and we really are well, getting something that's quite special. And undeniably, the Frontier influence is a big part of, well, why that is with the Frontier devs as part of the team now. And I think ultimately more than anything, it just makes me imagine what, like, a Monster Hunter game that was, I don't know, like, Monster Hunter World. Which I realize is literally already a Monster Hunter game, literally Monster Hunter World, but what I more specifically should, you know, stress that I mean is... Okay, let's go with Monster Hunter Universe. You know, a Monster Hunter that really does encapsulate the very best from every Monster Hunter game. The very best monsters from every spin-off, the very best monsters from the mainline, and the very best mechanics of it all blended together to create the most, like, ultra Monster Hunter experience. That's what I really think would be awesome, but I'm sure all of you would think that would be awesome, but I guess maybe the start of that potentially being possible at some point in the future, kinda, is at least proved by Sunbreak's existence with its, yes, Monster Hunter essence mainline, but that certain amount of Frontier Spice that, let's be honest, has made it all so very extra nice. Basically, Flaming Espinas got me very happy about the state of Sunbreak, Monster Hunter, and the cross-pollination that they seem to finally be embracing in general. And I would love to know what your thoughts on all of that are. And, well, are you pleased that it's... ...are coming together? Because I certainly am. Like you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. Consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. It is what keeps us going and it does mean the world. Until we meet again, then, a good... Boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye <laughs>